So there's a new study out on NMN that I want to call your attention to in case you hear about it. Here is what it's all about. Study title, plain and simple, nicotinamide mononucleotide increases plasma NMN and insulin levels in healthy people. 11 men and women who did not have diabetes are given 250 milligrams of NMN each day for three months. Pretty straightforward, and there was no external funding for this study, and there were no conflicts of interest, so that's good. Although I will say up front that this is a small study with only 11 people, and there was no placebo group, so that's a problem in my book. So from the title, we can gather that NMN raised NMN levels and also insulin levels, but let's look at the data a little closer. So yeah, nicotinamide mononucleotide levels did go up significantly and peaked after two months of this three months investigation. And then they dropped down a little bit in the third month, but they still remained higher than they were at the beginning of the investigation. Also, I want to call your attention to the fact that after one month of stopping NMN supplements, nicotinamide mononucleotide levels dropped back down to their normal level. This tells us that NMN drops pretty quickly after you stop taking it. Let's now turn our attention to insulin and see what happened here. So postprandial insulin levels, in other words, the insulin after eating, rose from about 6.95 to about 39.2 after two months, and then it drops down a little bit to about 28.1 after the third month. Now, Animal research has suggested that nicotinamide mononucleotide will raise insulin levels. And while that is nice, let's look at their blood sugar. So the blood sugar didn't really change very much. And also let's call attention to the fact that because it's a three month long study, they also did measure hemoglobin A1C and hemoglobin A1C levels did not change either. Let's remember that these were people who did not have diabetes. I'll link to another video I did on NMN and people who had diabetes so you can actually see what happened there. I also want to call your attention to triglycerides that were measured in this study. So NMN causes triglyceride levels to skyrocket in this study. They begin at around 81 milligrams per deciliter when the study begins. And then after two months, they go up to a whopping 186 milligrams per deciliter. And then they drop a little bit after that in the third month down to about 155. What's weird is that when you read the study, they say that this change was not not significant. Are you kidding me? On a blood test, less than 150 is considered normal. If you're 150 to 199, your triglyceride levels are considered borderline high. So why are they saying this rise in triglycerides is not significant? I would bet that if you got a blood test and your triglycerides went from 80 to about 160, then you'd be pretty surprised, as would your doctor. I'll link to another video I did below this one on NMN and triglyceride levels so you can learn more about that study. So I like that this is a human investigation, but I have to say I'm a bit concerned at the finding that NMN causes triglyceride levels to essentially double in a pretty short period of time. Let me know in the comments below what your triglyceride levels were when you took NMN. I also think we need to know more about this NMN raising insulin levels and what this means for people who have diabetes and prediabetes.